Hello everyone, this is Kevin Alexander with AltaVista Technology. We're going to take a look at what is Dynamics 365. So we'll take a little history lesson first on the uh, with the Dynamics applications. So everyone, we're all familiar with Microsoft Office. And Microsoft Office was one of the uh, first suites that Microsoft uh, moved to their uh, Microsoft's cloud, which we all know today as Microsoft Office 365. You know, one of the benefits of being on Microsoft Office 365, you know, um, you know, other than uh, the ability to, you know, connect from wherever I happen to be working and whatever device I happen to be on, is that those applications are always up to date. They're always green. And <clears throat> the benefit there is that uh, previously, uh, you know, many of us experienced in the past where uh, I may be sharing uh, office files with uh, another organization and maybe I have some difficulties opening those or maybe there's a feature in that application that um, I'm unable to see or they're unable to see because we're not on the same version of Office. So Microsoft uh, first packaged those up, right? And that's that Microsoft Office 365 productivity suite that we're all familiar with today. So the same in the Microsoft Dynamics family. And the Dynamics family initially was a set of ERP solutions uh, that we'll, we'll look at next, uh, as well as CRM. And that those products have gone through a similar transition uh, to Microsoft Dynamics 365. So there's a, as we start to look at uh, those cloud solutions, Microsoft didn't rewrite their ERPs from the ground up from a functional standpoint, right? They took uh, two of their most uh, ready or technology re or technologically ready products and uh, moved forward with those to become uh, part of the Microsoft Dynamics 365 family, which is a whole host of products today. So uh, some of those legacy products that uh, we were mentioning before in the Microsoft Dynamics family, Dynamics CRM, Dynamics GP, Dynamics SL, Dynamics AX, and Dynamics NAV. And the last two being the products that Microsoft uh, moved forward to become part of the Microsoft Dynamics 365 family. Uh, Dynamics AX, uh, you may know as FNO, and the Dynamics NAV is now Dynamics 365 Business Central. And that's a, one of the products that uh, we specialize in, uh, as well as Dynamics 365 Sales and Customer Service, uh, which uh, were part of the Dynamics Serum suite uh, originally as well. And so in this next hub here, uh, this is the Dynamics 365 ecosystem, and in this ecosystem are all the applications uh, that kind of make that up today. And you'll see Business Central there at the top, and all along, as you move along the right-hand side there, you got sales uh, and customer service that used to be the Dynamics uh, CRM application. So they're all on the same, those are both uh, still on the same platform, but Microsoft has kind of broken those up and and they're able to be kind of licensed differently and, and uh, uh, for organizations. And along with those, right, you know, you have things like field service and you have project service and and uh, now you have artificial intelligence, right? And we'll talk a little bit about what that means uh, inside the Dynamics 365 ecosystem. And because uh, we work in that SMB space, uh, I'm going to talk a little uh, specifically to Business Central, so Dynamics 365 Business Central. That, that is made up of a, a host of functionality, uh, and it has everything that you'd expect out of an ERP uh, product. And some things to note here is that it has uh, you know, very strong warehousing and service management and manufacturing and uh, projects for jobs, right, can be managed out of there as well. Uh, there's also, uh, you know, a, a, a sales and marketing piece. So not just, 
you know, customer service or, you know, we call order management, there's actually a relationship management piece there that's like a sliver of, of CRM as well. And so those are all baked into the Dynamics uh, 365 Business Central um, application. But in the Microsoft space, right, that Dynamics 365 is much larger than just a single application. It's actually an embedded ecosystem. And using uh, in this hub that we're looking at now, in the middle, that could just say Dynamics 365. I happen to uh, call it Business Central here. But all these applications around the outside are actually embedded within the application. So when we talk about uh, when I talk about, uh, you know, um, applications, I talk about them in three ways. Uh, you, can, you can have uh, integration or you can be embedded. Um, there's also migration, right, of data. But embedded means that it's part of the application, right? It's not really an integration. It's actually part of it. And so today, with Outlook as an example, Dynamic or the Business Central application, right, is embedded right with inside of Outlook, so that I can do a lot of the same functions that I might ha I might uh, do right with inside Business Central without having to leave my Outlook client, or you know, uh, Excel being able to work real time with information in Excel and have that information update my Business Central application directly, and then in this this world we're in now where we're kind of transitioning from a, 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 a email type world to like a real time persistent collaboration uh, space, Teams, right? It's, a lot of you might be familiar with that. Well, that three, uh, Business Central is embedded uh, within that now too. And I can share things back and forth that don't require me to kind of pivot outside of um, my workflow uh, to look at um, something that someone may want me to uh, pay attention to inside of Business Central, right? And then there's Power BI that we're all familiar with uh, and being able to kind of leverage Power, uh, Power BI to, to uh, report on information and, and analyze information much deeper or thoughtfully inside Business Central, but also bring in other uh, lines of uh, information from other business systems that are not, integrated uh, with uh, Business Central so that um, if you're transitioning from another ERP as an example, you know, you don't really have to migrate your uh, your full data history anymore, right? That can be joined together in Power BI with that information and your Business Central information uh, w without the expense of, you know, migration. And then there's Power Automate, which allows us to automate uh, actions, tasks, notifications that are going on in Business Central and other applications without the need, again, for integration or migration, right? And then there's the store. There's the app, there's the app source store uh, for Dynamics, or for Microsoft specifically, but inside there are, are applications for the Dynamics 365 family that bring vertical depth, right, uh, or uh, a certain piece of functionality to an application. So like uh, for Business Central, you know, maybe credit card processing or uh, document, um, you know, embedding documents or the ease of embedding documents or, um, you know, AP workflow is an example, right? So where before, you know, those would be customization efforts or it might be a separate application that, uh, I go to the work and I can now it's all, you know, that feel it is business central. It is a Dynamics 365 application. And then there's uh, Azure. And within Azure, right, you have the uh, Azure, you know, artificial intelligence and business central starting to leverage doing, uh, you know, uh, cash flow forecasting and uh, inventory forecasting using you know, that, that Azure AI piece. So I hope this kind of gives you a, a flavor for, you know, what Dynamics 365 is and uh, what the Dynamics 365 ecosystem, you know, can bring to an organization. So I hope you found this video useful. We'll see you again soon with another video. In the meantime, please contact us if you'd like to learn more. 
If you like the video, please hit that thumbs up, and if it's your first time with us, click the subscribe button to stay current on our content. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.